and we monitor the condition of the machine. So as, as the machine is, is operating, we, we, can run, um, we can run a series of tests as well as live monitoring of information. And again, it's all fed back through the controller and it's used intelligently. The data is fed to the user or, or it's fed to the maintenance people to try and predict, um, predict potential faults in the future and potential issues with production. Lee, we're obviously doing a series of uh, movies on the Hecat Compact range, which is here at the Nikon Innovation Centre in the UK. We've talked a lot about the hardware, the speed of the machine, the size of the machine, automation and all sorts. All of those videos available on our YouTube channel. And um, today we're talking about the HMI, the interface here. Looks nice, how good is it? It's great. It, 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 it's, it's an idea to simplify things for the user, and for the maintenance people. So, big screen, flat screen, lots of simple information. And this is the home screen itself. Looks like there's lots of uh, areas to navigate, which is part of the remit, wasn't it? To make it very, very, everything very accessible and um, quickly. It is, and we've, we've got a system we call Staric Connect. And, and as I say, it, it's to make things easier for, for the user. So you can see it's simple pull down menus, taking you straight to tool magazine, unload, magazine loading, or the operating data, or the service, online tools. You're not going to navigate through lots of different pages to find where you need to go. Now, I'm making an assumption, but you, generally you wouldn't be programming at the control, would you? But you might need to interrogate the programs, you might need to change things. Those are areas that really need to be easy for an operator to, to access. Typically, our customers would program offline using the CAD CAM system, but you can program on the machine, of course. But yeah, the whole idea of this is you've got access to the, the machine control, but you've also got a, a means to split this screen so that you can see the machine control, you can look at what the camera is showing you from inside the machine, you can look at setup sheets, you can push data down to the operators for, for maintenance, for checks, any information you need really. On that maintenance point, quite important, if there are things you need to, to discuss back at base with Starag here in the UK or further afield, can you diagnose and interrogate from a remote location as to potentially what, maybe a programming error, or maybe an operator error, or maybe an issue with the machine? Well, there's a number of things you can do. The, the, the connect bit is all about connectivity. So we can connect to the machine remotely from the plant, for example, so an expert at the plant can see exactly what you're seeing in front of you. We take a lot of information from the process. So, for example, in the spindle itself, we may be monitoring the temperature or the um, the vibration levels through the spindle and we can we can use that data to say well okay part of your program is causing you problems and we know that because we're, we're taking information from the machine so we can pinpoint issues with the process through the technology. So there's almost an area of an analysis happening within the control as well then being able to help you make the part better potentially. For sure there is, and we monitor the condition of the machine. So as the machine is, is operating, we, we, can run, um, we can run a series of tests as well as live monitoring of information. And again, it's all fed back through the controller and it's used intelligently. The data is fed to the user or, or it's fed to the maintenance people to try and predict, um, predict potential faults in the future and potential issues with production. Which eventually will save time and save money. Um, how popular is this, Lee, and how, how do operators like it? We've, we've got these systems in the UK and various plants and the operators love them. Everybody loves pressing buttons, pressing screens.